In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to implement point-to-point -point over Ethernet, which is PPPoE, uh, on VLAN interfaces using MicroTik routers and Cisco switches. So I've done this post before on my blog. You can go check it out. But I want to do this video uh, solution more like a practical guide to doing what has already been written on the blog. So uh, using VLAN interfaces is ideal, is recommended because uh, it ensures that you do not run out of um, uh, physical ports on your devices quickly. On the MicroTik um, router that you see here on your screen, I'll be using it as uh, the PPPoE server and then I'll trunk multiple interfaces, multiple VLANs to the um, Cisco switch. And from the Cisco switch, we are just going to quickly provision all the other the customers. Okay, so this cloud um, appliance here gives me GUI access to this MicroTik router. So without wasting much time, let's jump into it. But before we do that, please, if you know you're here to subscribe to this channel, please help me to grow the channel by subscribing to it, and also help other like minds like you to see this post by liking the post, by sharing it, and by commenting. You can also turn on post notifications so you get to know whenever I drop new videos. So let's jump into it. I'm going to use Windows login to the MicroTik and using the MAC IP address on the MicroTik. The MAC address on the MicroTik, sorry. I'm being asked to set um, the username and password so I should just, uh, can go ahead and set it immediately. So let me set my identity, the host name of the system immediately. So let's just call this one server. So the first thing I'll do here is to create a bridge. Let's come to interface bridge, add enable VLAN filtering on it. The name of the bridge is VLAN 1, uh, bridge 1, sorry. And then, of course, you click on uh, VLAN and you check the box for VLAN filtering, you apply and you're okay. So the next thing is to add a port to the bridge. And the port being added is the one, which is the port connecting to the Cisco device. You can see it here. So I'll add that port to the bridge, I'll apply and okay. Then the next thing is for me to define my untagged port, which is the bridge port. So I'll click on VLAN, I'll add and I'll put the VLAN ID, VLAN 10, and the untapped port here is the bridge one. I'll apply, I'll copy that. I'll do for VLAN 20, it's the same thing. So apply, and I'll copy that, and I'll do for VLAN 30. Okay. Apply, and okay. Okay, and okay. So you can see right here that for VLAN 10, the untapped port is bridge one, 20 and 30 they are all the same so now that i have done this the next thing i need to do is to create my vlans so that i can assign ip address to those vlan interfaces so i'll go to interface and then i'll come to vlan and then click on add so the vlan name is going to be vlan 10 VLAN id is vlan 10 and then it's going to be attached to the one interface apply and i'll copy that now do for 20 plan id is 20 then i'll apply and i'll copy that now we'll do the same step for 30 and uh, change the id to 30 on so the same interface apply and okay and then i'll okay this one and of course i'm gonna okay this so you can see them here i made a mistake here so this villain id is 30 and not 300 so apply and okay so you can see the vlans here vlan ids here and then you can see the names here all right so now i need to assign ip addresses to those vlans so i'll click on ip address and i will go to assign those addresses to the 168 
So the IP is going to be 192.168.10.1 slash 24. I'm assigning this one to VLAN 10. I'll apply and I'll copy that. I'm going to change this one to 20.1. Going to interface VLAN 20. I'll apply and copy that. And I'll change this to 30. It's going to go to VLAN 30. Apply and OK it. So we just OK out and you can see all the IP addresses here. Okay, 10.1, 20.1, 30.1 and they're all assigned to 10, 20 and 30 VLANs. So the next thing is to create my pool that we use for PPPoE server configuration. That's the IP addresses that will be given to the uh, PPPoE client that will connect so this is going to be for client one yep to 192.168.10.2 that's the range to 192.168.10.254 if i have that much ip much clients that need to connect so i'll apply and i'll copy this and i'll say client for client two i'll change this to 20.2 to 20.254 as when I have that much clients I'll do for client 3 30.2 all the way to 30.254 apply and ok 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 so you can see all the IP the range here for the VLAN 10 which is for client 1 I have 10.2 to 10.254 and for the second one 20.2 to 20.254 and then the third one is 30.2 to 30.254 so I have the um the pools configured now now I need to head out to PPP and configure my profile so I'll click on add to get the profile so the profile for client one is when I'm setting up the IP address is the IP configured on VLAN 10 interface so 10.1 and then the remote will be the pool for client one for client one sorry and then I'll apply and I'll set the DNS of course 10.0.8.8.8.8 if you have your ISP assigned DNS you can use it if you prefer it to the Google DNS I'm using apply and copy i'll change the name here to client 2 try to spell it correctly client 2 change the ip to 20.1 and change the remote address to client 2 remote ip the dns remains the same apply and copy this change the name here to client 3 and the ip is 30.0 30.1 the remote address is the pool configured for client 3 the DNS remains the same so I'll apply and OK out here so I have the um, profile set now I'll move over to setting uh, the secret so I'll click on secret and click on add the name is for client 1 and the password uh, maybe I should just use client 1 for the password as well service is pppoe you can use any if you choose to and then the profile is profile of client one and then i'll apply I'll copy this change this one to client two change the uh, password to client two service type is the same thing but the profile will change to client two profile and then i'll do for the last one which is for client three set the profile to the profile of client 3 so I'll apply an ok I'll ok out here and here so I have the secret set now I need to enable PPPoE here which is the final one on all the interfaces which are the VLAN interfaces so I'll add I'll give it a name for client 1 interface will be for VLAN 10 and the profile will be for Client one, I'll apply and I can copy this if I choose to. 
and set for client two and change the villain to villain 20 change the client to client 2 and you can see here that the authentication type has been chosen they are all ticked all ticked here if i don't want to use pop and chop i can just uncheck them and use the microsoft challenge hashtag authentication protocol 2 and 1 so apply and ok and copy this and do for client 3 VLAN 30 and profile 3. So apply and OK and OK and OK out. So I have PPOE all enabled on the interfaces now, on the VLAN interfaces. So at this point, I'm done with my configuration on the uh, server. So I need to go to the Cisco switch. So here on the Cisco switch, I need to create VLANs. VLAN 10 to create VLAN 20 and of course VLAN 30. So just to verify to verify that the VLANs are there, show VLAN brief. So I can see 10, 20, there's no 30. So let's repeat for 30, VLAN 30. Show VLAN, okay, now I have VLAN 30. So I need to configure my interfaces accordingly. Zero of zero is the interface connecting to the micro tick, so it needs to be configured as a trunk. E0 of 1 connects me to uh, client 1, so it needs to be configured as access port on VLAN 10. E0 of 2 connects me to client 2. Zero of three connects me to client three. So I'm done here on the switch. So I need to go to the microtic router and get the microtic routers connected. So I've set the host name. I need to enable PPPoE clients on Ether1 interface. I have PPPoE configured now, but is it enabled? Let's find out. You see that it is configured, but it is disabled. So I need to enable it. Enabled zero. The zero is a number next to it. You can see it here. So interface PPOE client enabled zero will enable the interface. So now I want to check if I, let's check again and see if the interface is enabled or not. You see that the interface is now enabled and is running. The R here tells you that it is running. So let's check if we have an IP. You can see that we have an IP assigned and this interface is connected. So let's do for the uh, client 2 and client 3 from the PPPOE server. So if I go to PPPOE server, I go to active connection, I can see all of them, client 1, client 2, and client 3, they are all connected. I can test for reachability from here. I'm running pings to 192.168.10.1. 
uh, two five four uh, and see your supply. Let's do to twenty replying as well and of course to 30 you can see it's replying so there you have it uh, I want to appeal to you to please help me grow this channel please like comment and share this post but most importantly, please subscribe to this channel to help me grow. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.